Hey guys, Fu from Fox Tech, and today I'm very glad to show you a new quadcopter from Fox Tech, and this is the Fox Tech H1. And H1 means long time fly the hovering. And uh, you can see this is a very, very newly designed quadcopter frame. And in the past, we all admire somebody who fly the full carbon fiber casing quadcopter with the shiny color and uh, everything is like rounded and uh, the battery is put inside, it has a uh, cover and all protected. Um, but those kind of frames are quite expensive, although they are very light, can offer you a long fly time, um, but uh, not everybody can afford it. So I decided to make something that is really, really cost effective and uh, quite affordable by everyone. And this comes the H1. Uh, you can see actually the H1 is a folding frame. And I'm going to show you the size of uh, H1 already folded. You can see that the arms can be, can be folded like this and the legs can be folded and uh, then we, we can uh, fix it by a uh, fixation screw right here. Uh, so all in all, it's very easy to fold. You can see the sides, it's just like a size of an iPad. You can easily put them in your bag and put your radio, your battery, uh, even your gimbal in the, in the bag like this, so you can take it around. And whenever you want to fly it, you just uh, take, it out, take it out from your bag and unfold it like this. So you are ready to fly. And also the key feature to make this quadcopter is we want to achieve long fly time with a lower cost. And you can see this, mo this uh, frame is only 600 millimeter in diameter and we use the 15 inch propeller and also the 3508 motors. We use a 6 SD per battery and the longest flight time we achieved is 1 hour. So now I think it's time to celebrate because it's very hard to achieve 1 hour flight time with uh, such kind of a small quadcopter but we achieved it and uh, the key to achieve this kind of flight time is its extraordinary lightweight body and also extraordinary high efficiency power system. Okay, let me show you the detail. Um, actually, just to see the frame, let me, let me unfold it. Mm. Uh, actually, we use the carbon fiber square tubes and in combination with two sections of aluminum, aluminum tubes right here to make this uh, really, really strong arms and also quite durable. Um, you can see right here, we uh, use the aluminum tube section to do reinforcement on the motor mounting points right here and also to the rotation joint right here. And once you uh, put it into place and here is a small key to let you tighten the arms on the body. So it's a very, very secure and a very safe manner to fix the arms with the body. It's just like a whole thing, not like a folding thing. And we also use the lightweight carbon fiber tubes right here and a rotation joint right here and a small uh, fixation hand rotating uh, screw right here. You can see we can lock the legs in place. And the whole body is quite light, also made of a carbon fiber uh, plate. It's like a 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber, but we use a lot of measures to reinforce the whole body. You can see right here, what I'm pointing is a aluminum ring right here around, around the top plate. It can offer extraordinary high strings and uh, also uh, it's very good for high tension applications um, 
you can see how strong the body is. It's just like a stone. It's very, very strong. And inside of this cover, uh, actually, there's um, a plate to mount the flight control right there. And the key feature of this frame is we don't only design it for long time fly, but we also design to can be used in real life for the agrophotography, also for mapping. We added eight. You can see maybe clear from this top, this button plate right here. Uh, eight, you can see the blue things. They are damper balls and uh, fly controller board, including the battery tree, including this mounting plate, are all vibration free because the damper balls can eliminate all the vibrations generated from the motor, from the propeller, from the free. So uh, the you can have a very stable fly with, thanks to the damper balls. And so also, if you attach, if you attach a gimbal right here, you don't even you don't even to uh, you even don't need to add the another damper balls right here. For example, if I want add a zoom camera right here, is zoom is a uh, vibration free, it's jello free, let's say. So it uh, saves also uh, saves a lot of weight and uh, makes things much easier for you. If you just attach a, a GoPro right here, you can get a very clear video thanks to the damper balls. And if you think the eight balls are too much, you can remove four of them. So you can only use a four and to get even better vibration control. Okay. So this is so much about the frame. And for the H1, we offer actually uh, two options. The one option is to use the DJI NASE 2 or NASE Lite to get um, the basic fly. And you can use the GPS hold. You can use the GPS auto uh, return home function. And everything is so easy. Then this is quite suitable for someone, someone who wants to just take some beautiful photos, beautiful videos with uh, uh, a GoPro gimbal with uh, even a zoom camera. So this kind of a setup is very easy. Um, you just uh, need to add a battery and uh, this combo is ready to fly. And if you want to achieve a longer flight time, we will later offer a power package using the 186050 battery. And this is a special battery, um, actually we just uh, got recently. Um, the battery is the 3500 milliamp. Yeah, of course, this is the 1S. And, but the, uh, the full uh, voltage is a 4.2 volt, just like a normal lipo battery. But actually, you can discharge it to a to uh, 2. Point Five, you can discharge to 2.5 uh, Wow, it's uh, quite amazing. So you can achieve a very long flight time with this kind of battery. But we will make it public later. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, show you these uh, things in the in the video. And you can still use the normal battery. Uh, for example, the 5,000 six test lipo battery. You can fly over 40 minutes with this. Uh, frame already. And I have another option to show you that uh, if you are a professional uh, pilot, if you want to do the mapping, if you want to do the waypoint and do whatever, it's automatic flying, I have another option. <coughs> and this is the H1 equipped with uh, the Pixhawk system. And uh, I equipped with the 900 uh, megahertz uh, data link and uh, very nice 8N eight, eight GPS and uh, the Pixhawk right here. So with this kind of system, you can do the waypoint flying. You can, you can uh, assign a, a uh, say a route and you fly uh, according to the route just draw and you can also do the mapping for a certain 
uh, certain uh, piece of area. It's uh, very, very nice. And okay, I'm going to tell you uh, some uh, accessories we offer with this uh, H1 frame. Um, you can see here the motor cover in different colors. Actually, this is a 3D printing, so we can uh, print all the colors we need. And this is yellow, and it is red and black, and uh, just what color, whatever you want. And um, okay, so the H1, you can see it used the four legs that cannot fold in the air. But we also offer another option is to use the automatic retracting landing gear. It's like this. So uh, this happens when you want to do a really beautiful aerial photography with the GoPro camera. Uh, so you will not want to see the landing gear in the video. So just uh, yeah, uh, retract it. And this is uh, all the accessories we offer and the options we offer for the Foxfax H1. Okay, now you can see what we attach to this uh, H1. This is the FH310W. Uh, it's a zooming camera, but we did some kind of uh, improvement to it. We added actually an IR laser right here and a counterweight right here. And we also uh, will control the IR light and also the ICR function of the, um, of the camera in later by remote control. So with this kind of system, you can uh, fly even in the night and monitor whatever you want. Also with the long flight time, there's some many things you can achieve. For example, long fly distance. Actually, the, the fastest the flying speed we tested is around 70 kilometers per hour or even more than that. So with that, of, um, flying speed and one hour flight time, you can just imagine what kind of things you can achieve. You can just let it hover there for a long time monitoring with this kind of zoom camera. Uh, you can go to a very long distance. You can uh, do the mapping of a quite big piece of land. Uh, it's a lot of other things you can achieve with the long flight time. So uh, this is a basic introduction about our uh, Hover 1, it's H1 quadcopter from Foxtech. And I hope you like it. And also, uh, I know some of you guys are more professional than me on the Peaks Talk on the APM. And I hope you can develop more functions for the H1 in the future. Okay, now if you like this frame and uh, this quadcopter H1, you can place your pre-order on foxtechipv.com and uh, I hope you can get more applications with this kind of uh, quadcopter. And uh, like always, if you like our video, video channel, our website, don't forget to subscribe us. And uh, this is Fu from Foxtech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.